Welcome to my video review of the Psychmonic. This is touted as a premium Bluetooth speaker from the maker. Price at time of review is around about £40. I'll show you what you get included. Fairly basic package, you get the micro USB charging cable, a 3.5mm auxiliary input lead. We'll take a quick look at the box. Two 10 watt drivers, Bluetooth 4, 2000 milliamp battery. It's fairly compact in size at 200 by 60 by 60. And we'll do a few audio tests in a while just to see how that stacks up. It's uh, probably of more importance than the actual specifications on the box. If we move over onto the speaker, you can see there's a nice finish on the speaker. Metal front grille here with the logo. Case material is uh, aluminium, feels very strong and solid. On the underside we have silicone pads to prevent vibration and to hold the speaker firm has a minimalist look and that's mimicked with the controls as well on the top panel here there's just four one is power one is play and pause and also for voice calls through the speakerphone and the plus and minus buttons control the volume and track selection there's definitely a bit of weight to this but it probably adds to the premium feel with the finishing too and on the back just the two ports for the charging and the three and a half millimeter jack I want born in a body bag by sundown. All right, let's get a map up here. Come on, folks. Work it. I want born in a body bag by sundown. All right, let's get a map up here. Come on, folks. Work it. I recorded the sound samples there in stereo so hopefully that will give you some idea of the sound output of the speaker. It sounds even better in person, there's a very rich deep bass with the speaker but it doesn't completely swamp out the other frequencies which is important for any speaker. It's particularly well suited to TV or computer use, there's no sign of any low level hum at all from the speaker when it's connected to the power supply and that's quite important because a lot of Bluetooth speakers have that problem. Uh, finish and build overall is very nice it's a premium finish it does look perhaps a little bit restrained for some people but for me the most important area is the sound output and in this regard I think it's probably one of the best speakers that I've tested in terms of the sound output in this price range so I can certainly recommend the speaker based purely on that